Good evening, everybody, and welcome here to the Panther Den, where your Liberty Hill Lady Panther volleyball team looks to go 7-0 in district as they take on the Lampasas Badgers tonight. We'll get you the call here in just a second. This is the KMAX Sports Network. I'm Jay Andrews. I'd like to give a shout out to our QA back in the studio, Mitchell Padgett. We'll get you the broadcast sounding clear, hopefully all night. As Liberty Hill looks to go seven and zero in district, and hopefully do it in straight set fashion that they've done the last, as they've done the past six times. Again, Jay Andrews here with the call tonight. Liberty Hill, their breast cancer awareness month, wearing their pink jerseys with purple numbers. Lamb passes with the blue jerseys and white numbers. As we're about to get set here for this seventh district game for Liberty Hill. So we're about to get you lineups here. And rosters from the public address announcer. So we're just about to get set. Pink out night had the junior high uh, volleyball girls here earlier tonight recognizing them and the Liberty Hill community as they were both eight teams were in at least a tie for first place so good for them to keep that going obviously will help them once they get up here with Coach Peterson so we get set here Liberty Hill coming off a straight sets win in Burnett which is a, always tough to do you know they, they everything they do it never looks like it's tough but when you go to a rival and have to play against them with an undefeated district record on the line, it's a, it's always going to be a little hard. So we'll see how they'll do tonight. And Lamp passes hopefully should be straight sets and they can get it over with. So we're just about to get set here. JV and Freshman both won earlier. JV continues their undefeated district run right now. I think we're just about to get here. The lineup set. Liberty Hill going to be starting out on the right side as we get you with the PA announcer.
Now we're set here for Liberty Hill Volleyball, so we like to go 7-0 district. Varsity will start off on the right side of the court. LH logo facing the home side. Land pass will start on the left with the LH logo facing towards the visitor side. So we're set to go here now. Your Liberty Hill Panthers taking on the Land Passes Badgers. Starting six for your Panthers. It's going to be Lily Wilkins, Ashley Nelson, Emma Parsons, Kinsey Escamilla, Emily Huppy, and Allison Van Claver. Mackenzie Wukash will come in for Van Claver. Badgers will have the serve first. It's the judges getting, or official, I should say, getting everything, the last minute checks in place. Check in with the Liam Passes coach. While we have a moment, we'd like to give a shout to one of our sponsors, Liberty Hill Civil Construction is a leading construction company specialized in single family infrastructure. We are locally owned and service the greater Austin area. We are proud sports of Liberty Hill Volleyball. Go Lady Panthers. Land Passes will have the serve with Priscilla Rodriguez. Rodriguez a serve. Goes right between Lukash and Nelson for the point. We'll take the first point. One nothing Land Passes here in set number one. Usually in this first set, Liberty Hill will get off to a hot start. Usually can kind of keep this set out of control. Set from Las Vegas. Serve from Las Vegas goes out. Point to Liberty Hill on the service error. Tied up at one here. Huppy will go back for the serve for Liberty Hill. Huppy, the star junior. Her serve. Dug out back row by Rodriguez. A block shot over on the tip from Nelson gets the point. She'll get the kill. First kill for Liberty Hill tonight. Two to one, Liberty Hill. Huppy retains the serve. Huppy serve. Out off the back. Point to Lamb passes. Tied up here, two, two. Or a bender. Or excuse me, that's Kukara, Kara serve, dug out by Hernandez. Set by Parsons, attack shot from Wilkins, gets the no kill. It'll go back over, set from Parsons, now attack shot Escamilla, gets the kill, point Liberty Hill. Tied up at three, or not tied up, Liberty Hill takes the lead at three, you know. Three to two, Liberty Hill. Kubish will come in for Parsons, and Allred will come in for Escamilla, and Allred will go back for the serve. All red serve. It's going to be dug out right into the net for the Liberty Hill point on the ace. Four to two, Liberty Hill gets the point here in set number one. All red retains the serve. All red serve. Off the tape, dug out. Set from Kara. Attack shot blocked by Wilkins. They get the kill. Point Liberty Hill, five to two. Now here in set number one. Emily Allred retains the serve. Allred serve. Dug out, back over, dug out by Allred now. Set from Escamilla, attack shot, Nelson. Dug out, back row by Rodriguez. Now the attack shot from Cornish, dug out on a dive by Hernandez. Tip shot from Nelson. Dug out by Cara. Dug by Moore. Attack shot from Cornish, dug by Amina Hernandez, set from all red. Attack shot, Kubish, dug out back row. Right into the net, point Liberty Hill though. That ball gets dug out right back in the net. Makes it a 6-2 lead for Liberty Hill here in set number one.
All red retains the serve. Serve is dug out. Back row by Moore. Double hit. Called right off the bat on the set from Kara. Attack shot or serve from Moore, I should say. Dug out back row by Moore. Now the attack shot from Bender is dug out back row by Wukas. Set by Allred right side. Attack shot from Hernandez dug out on the dive. Attack shot from Cornish. Off the hands on the block, Point Liberty Hill. They're going to take a timeout. We'll take it with them here as you're listening to Liberty Hill. Lady Panther Volleyball on the K-Max Sports Vibe Media Network. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. And while all of us at the KMAC Sports Network are huge football fans, we broadcast more than just football, you know. In fact, KMAC Sports proudly broadcasts volleyball, girls and boys basketball, softball, baseball, soccer, lacrosse, and more. For more information on how you can help KMAC Sports broadcast any of those sports, just reach out to Chuck at KMACSports.com or Merle at KMACSports.com or contact that sports booster club directly. KMAC Sports will come quickly back here as time on in a little early. Liberty Hill and Lynn has not any time. All Reds will get the serve. Set by Bo. Dug out by All Red. And the attack shot from Lynn passes on the other side by Cornish gets the kill. Makes it 7 to 3 after Lynn passes timeout. Usually Liberty Hill will get those, but passes. Not letting that happen this time. Serve from Lampasas, dug out by Hernandez, attack shot from Wilkins. Goes just out on the right side, right corner. Gives Lampasas back the point. It's eight to four now. Serve from Lampasas, goes out. Point Liberty Hill will be nine to four. Wilkins will have the serve. Wilkins serve. Dug out, back row by corners. Set from Cara, tip shot, dug out by Hernandez on the dive. Now the attack shot from Nelson. Right in the middle of the court, no one was there. Point to Liberty Hill, they're getting the double digits here, 10 to four. Wilkins with the serve. Wilkins serve, dug back. Dug by Allred, tip shot, set by Nelson, set by Hernandez, tip shot, Nelson. Double hit on Nelson. We give the point. Two land passes, making it 10 to 5. <laughs> Megan Bobo will go back. It'll be dug out by Wu Kesh off the serve. Attack shot from Nelson. They get the point, though, for land passes after a double hit from Allred. Serve, dug out by Van Clavern, a stacked shot from Wukesh, dug out, back row by Cornish. Now the attack shot from Cornish, dug out by Wukesh. Saved by Allred, not going to be able to get it. She dove out there but hit it almost into the stands. Three point run here for Lampasas makes it 10 to 8, or 10 to 7 I should say. It's going to be dug out by Hernandez off the serve. Now the attack shot, tip shot from Nelson. It's dug out by Kara. Dug by Bobo. The attack shot, dug on the dive from Allred. Gets back. Set from Kara. Dug out by Hernandez. Set from Allred. Attack shot, Nelson. Gets the kill. 11 now. 11 to 7 now. Hernandez will come out. Huppy will go back in. Nelson serve. Doug on the dive, not able to save it though. Point to Liberty Hill on the ace. They never really had control of that one as they dive out to save it, but couldn't get it. Nelson serve. This time Doug out back over attack shot Van Clavering gets the kill.
Nelson retains the serve. Her serve. Dug out back row by Poole. Now the attack shot from Dawama gets the kill. 13 to 8. 14 to 8, I should say. Serve. Gives the point to Liberty Hill, making it 15 to 7, actually. They gave that last point to Liberty Hill, called a late penalty. 15-7, set number one, Liberty Hill leading, a serve from Nelson, dug out, dug out, now atta attack shot, tip shot from Zolmik, now Zolmik with the attack shot gets out of play, Liberty Hill gets the point. 16-7, Nelson serve, right into the net, service area, point to land passes, 16-8. Skyler Poole goes back from the serve. Poole serve. Dug out by Wukesh. Set from Allred. Attack shot, Huppy. Then a caught. Double hit there on Allred. Point to Lamb passes. 16 9. Serve from Skyler Poole. Dug out on the dive by Wukesh. Now the attack shot here from Nelson back row. Trying to save it. Attack shot from Zomak. Goes out. Point Liberty Hill. 17-9. Substitution Escamilla comes in and Parsons will come in for Allred and Kubish. Allred goes back for the serve. Allred serve. Back dugout back row by the left side. Now the attack shot from Zomek. Dug by Nelson. Set from Parsons. Attack shot Escamilla. Just in on the left side. Points Liberty Hill. Eighteen to nine. And Parsons has the serve. Parsons serve. Dug out. Set from Poole. Attack shot blocked by Escamilla. They get the point. 19 to 9. Gets a double digit lead there. RC Bender with the serve dug out by Wukash. Tip shot by Parsons. She'll get the kill. Bounces off the tape, but. She gets the point nonetheless, 20 to nine. Wukesh goes back for the serve. Wukesh's serve, right into the tape and off. Point goes to land passes on that one. Nine, 20 to 10. Pasquilla Rodriguez goes back to serve. Rodriguez's serve. Set by Nelson. Set again from Wukash. Attack shot Nelson off the fingertips. Back to the back row. Dug out by Dewana. Set. Dug out by Escamilla. Set by Parsons. Attack shot. Huppy gets the kill. Makes it 21 to 10 here. Actually 20 to 11. Must have missed a point there. My apologies. Call timeout. Will Lamb passes. Liberty Hill leading 20 to 11. Finally got under a double digit lead for the first time in a bit after that one. We'll keep it here for the timeout. Kind of a presence from pretty much every Liberty Hill player, setting the tone a little bit. Still a nine point winning effort right now, but usually they make this set a little better, but they've kind of got their groove as the set has aged. So they'll both get back in. <laughs> Mia Hernandez will come in and go back to serve. Hernandez serve. Gonna go dugout back row by Carr. 
Now the attack shot from Poole. Tip shot right into the Panther logo. She'll get the point and the kill. 20 to 12. Back to ver back to serve will be Kara. Kara serve, dug out by Wukesh. Attack shot again, dug out by Wukesh. Not able to save at that time. Kill will go to Cornish. Gives the gives lane pass another point. 20 to 13. Liberty Hill leading over land passes here in the Panther Den. Sir from Kara goes just out on the right side. Point goes to Liberty Hill, 21-13. All red will check in for Escamilla and Kubish will come in for Parsons. Reversing the substitution that happened just a minute ago. All red will go back to serve. All red serve, dug out, set by Kara. Saved by Escamilla, not able to get it. She tried to pick that one up, but couldn't get it. Point will go to land passes. 20 to 14. 21 to 14, I should say. Emma Cornish for the serve for land passes. Dug out by Escamilla. Set, now attack shot tip from Kubish. Dug out. Set, now attack shot. Off the fingertips of Kubish. Point two land passes. 21-15. Serve from Cornish. Cornish serve, dug out back row by Wukas. Set by Ora, attack shot Kubish. Dug out. And he's set. Double hit called on Bender. Point will go to Liberty Hill. Can immediately see it there off that set, hit it twice. All red serves can be dug out back row. Now the free ball over, dug out by Kubish. Set from all red attack shot. Nelson off the hands. Not able to save on the big or go out. Point to Liberty Hill, 23-15. Kubish is serve, dug out. And the attack shot from Van Klaffer. Not able to save it. They tried to dig that one out, didn't get it in time, 24 to 15. All red serve, dug out, set by Van Clavering. Set from Parsons, tip shot, not able to get it. Just a little too high for Nelson, point will go to land passes, which is 24 to 16. Here in set number one. Megan Bobo back to serve. That's going to be dug out by Hernandez. Dug out by our attack shot from Van Claver. Attack shot again from Van Claver. And it came right back to her. She'll get the kill on the second one. Point to Liberty Hill. Set to Liberty Hill. 25 to 16. Liberty Hill takes the first set. Just under digits. Double digits. They lead now one set to nothing. And they'll switch sides. Liberty Hill will take over to the left side with the LH logo facing the visitor side. And passes will move over to the right and take that. That side where the LH is facing the home side. We're going to take a short break. You're listening to Liberty Hill Lady Panther Volleyball here on the KMAX Sports Vibe Media Network. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. At KMAX Sports, we work hard to provide quality professional broadcasts to make it easier for the booster clubs with whom we work to find sponsorships. We ask that you please patronize these advertisers and thank them for supporting your team's broadcasts. You can help your booster club fund the broadcast by simply clicking on the donate button on kmaxsports.com. And if you're a fan of the other school, you can show your appreciation for tonight's broadcast by making a donation as well. Thank you in advance for your support. And now, let's take you back out to the game. This is the KMAX Sports Network. And this is what we do. Look at left, throws into the end zone. That's him again, he hits the turf. And oh, Devin Hodge scoops it up, Tim and Rook is going on the end zone. 10, 5, touchdown. If you like the sound of that, then let us broadcast your team. Send an email to Merle at KMAXsports.com or Chuck at KMAXsports.com to find out how. Bringing your teams to you since 2003. It's what we do. We are KMAX Sports. 
you can socialize with us. Yeah, man, I tell you what, that dang old internet, man, you just throw it on there and point and click, 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 click. It's real easy, man. On Twitter, at KMAX Sports. Or catch us on Facebook. Search KMAX Sports. Just another way, KMAX Sports is bringing your team to you. This is the KMAX Sports Network. Welcome back here to Liberty Hill. Well, your Panthers have a one set lead over the Lampasas and Badgers. Winning that last set, 25-16. A nine point victory in set number one. Usually we'll see a little more fluctuating. So they can easily kind of put you on the downs the first set. They only do that in part to a little back and forth effort in the beginning. Couldn't really get it together, but Finally did it once they did, they kind of took off running with it, had a 10 point lead for most of the match. Did hurt them though, they had to usually get the points off the timeout, and pass took a timeout about when they had a 9 point lead and came back got 3 points in a row, so somebody to look an eye on, but coming back on the court, starting 6 for set number 2 for your Liberty Hill Lady Panthers, be Lily Wilkins, Ashley Dubs, Ashley Nelson, Emma Parsons, and Emily Hubby. Getting those switch signs. Somebody here will take the right side now with the LH logo facing the visitor side. Or the left side, I should say. And passes takes the right with the LH logo facing the home side. One set to nothing. Liberty Hill leading. Liberty Hill will have the serve with dubs to start off this set. Up one set to nothing, trying to do it as they usually do in straight sets. As we'll get set here, Judge making some final corrections to his card. Ashley Dubs with the serve. Dubs serve off the tape. Dug out back row. No one goes to fourth though. And they'll get the point there. They kind of had control, but I'm going to give her the ace anyways because they kind of just flailed at that one, hit one, but nobody looked at it. And they bounced off one of the players' heads. Dubs will have the serve. Dubs serve. Dug out back row. Now the attack shot from Wilkins. Dug out. Set from Parsons on the opposite side. Dug out by Huppy. Set now attack shot from Cornish. Off the hands of Dubs and out. Point to Lampass. That's one to one. Here in set number two. Lukash comes in for Dubs. Back to serve will be Kara for the Badgers. Kara serve. Dug out. Now the set by Parsons. Attack shot. Huppy. Dug out. Back row by Moore. Dug out. Back to the side. Set by Escamilla. Seppi Parsons, attack shot, Luka Kubish. Now the tip shot on the other side by Wilkins. Dug out, set over. Set from Parsons, attack shot, Huppy off the hands. Set by Kara. The attack shot on the other side, set by Escamilla, set by Parsons, attack shot, tip shot from Nelson. Off the hands, goes out, points Liberty Hill, 2-1. to 2-1 one. One Liberty Hill here, set number two. Huppy will go back for the serve for Liberty Hill. Two to one. I put up some sweat on the floor, I guess, over there in the land pass aside. Coach getting her working. Denise Ponder, their head coach, is out there to wipe the floor for him. Now we're set here. Huppy has the serve. Huppy's serve. The off the tape and back on Liberty Hill side ties it at two here in set number two. Just kind of some unusual errors you don't see from either Huppy or the Liberty Hill team right now. Megan Bobo serve gets dug out back row by Uka, set by Parsons, attack shot. Claire Wilkins goes out of bounds. That's actually Claire Kubish on that one. 
3.2. Lamb passes, 3 to 2. Surf and Lamb passes. Dug out on the dive by Wukash. Not able to save it though. Gives the ace to Megan Bobo. 4 to 2. Lamb passes. Leading over Liberty Hill here in set number 2. Megan Bobo with the serve. Four land passes. There's serve. Dug out back row by Molly Mildow who just came in. Free ball over from Parsons. Dug out back row by Moore. And the attack shot from Cornish. And on the back side, five to two. Land passes getting a little bit of a lead here over the Woody Hill. Five to two. Cornish. My apologies, Megan Bobo retains the serve. Bobo serve goes out. Service error gives the point back to Liberty Hill. They'll capitalize on that, hopefully. Five to three. Going back to serve will be all red. She'll come in for Escamilla. Kubish will come in for Emma Parsons. The switch there. All red serve. Dug out. Dug out again. Attack shot by Rodriguez. Dug out by Molly Meldow, set by Allred, attack shot, Nelson gets the kill. Shot it down that left side, tipped off a couple bad lady batter's hands, they'll get the point, point though, or kill. As you could say, 5-4. to four. Allred retains the serve. Allred serve. We dug out, back row by Rodriguez. Set from Cara, attack shot, blocked! They'll save it though. Dug out on the other side by Kubish. Attack shot. Tip shot. Nelson. She'll get it on the perfect shot into the right corner. Just perfect tip shot right into the corner. No one was there. Five to five ties it up off of Nelson's two kills. All red retains the serve. All red serve. Set up. Now set by Kara. She'll get the double hit though. Point to Liberty Hill. They'll take the lead back six to five. 6-5, to five, set number 2, Liberty Hill leading one set to nothing over the Lampasas Lady Badgers here in the Panther Den. Serve from Allred, dug out back row by Rodriguez. Now Rodriguez going to have the attack shot, set by Wilkins, set by Allred, tip shot, Wilkins gets the kill right in the Bermuda Triangle. There's Liberty Hill with two-point lead, 7-5. to five. Here in set number 2. All red serve. Dug out back row. Now the attack shot from Cornish blocked by Wilkins and Nelson. They'll get the kill. Eight to five. Emily All red with the serve. Emily All red serve. Dug out by Moore. Set by Cara. Attack shot. Dug out by Meldow. Set by Allred, save there by Nelson on the free ball over. Now the attack shot from Cornish, blocked, saved. Not being able to save that one. Double block by Kubish and Wilkins, but couldn't really get it back off the block. Gives the point. Two land passes, eight to six. Cornish is served, dug out by Wukesh. Now the tip shot over from Nelson. It's dug out by Zamor. Attack shot from Zamor. Dug out. Not able to. Meldown dives out for it. Not able to get it. Makes it a one-point game. 8-7. to seven. Liberty Hill leading. 8-7. to seven. Cornish retains the serve. Cornish serve. Dug out by Wukash. Set by Molly Meldown. Attack by Kubish. Dug out by Rodriguez. Attack shot Zamor. Right in the Bermuda Triangle, she'll get the kill. Ties it up here at eight in set number two. Emma Cornish retains the serve, and that'll be a service error off the tape. Point to Liberty Hill. They take back the lead, nine to eight. Wilkins with the serve. Show's so gonna be dug out way high in the air. Now the set, attack shot from Zamore set toe tip shot over from Dubs. She blasts that one back over. Set from Meldow. Set from Allred. Attack shot. Kubish gets the kill. Makes it double digits for Liberty Hill. Or gets them into double digits. 10 to 8.
Wilkins with the serve. Serves dug out back row by corners. Set by Carr. Attack shot goes out for Bender. Gives the punch to Liberty Hill. Makes it a three point lead, 11 to 8. Wilkins retains the serve for Liberty Hill here in the Panther Den. One set lead. Her serve goes out off the right back side. Gives the point over to Lampasas. Makes it 11 to 9. A little bit of confusion as one of the Badgers and Moore threw it back. Serve from Poole. Dug out out of play from Nelson. Point will go on the ace to Poole. Gets the Badgers in double digits 11 to 10. Serve from Poole. Dug out on the dive from Wukesh. Not able to save it. Already came over running after it. Couldn't get there in time. Ties it up at 11. 11 to 11. Pool serve. Dug out by Meldow. Set from Allred. Tip shot over from Dubs. Dug out way back. They're going to have an attack shot from Carr. Dug out by Wukash. Set from Allred. Attack shot Nelson. And it's going to go out. Liberty Hill thought they got the point. Went out. Didn't tip a Badger. Gets the, Liberty, gets the Lady Badgers the lead back 12 to 11. A little bit of a back and forth here in set number two. Pool serve. Just out on the back left side. Points Liberty Hill 12 to 12. Emily Huppy comes in for Molly Meldow. Nelson will have the serve. Nelson serve. Just off. Attack, attack shot from Dubs, now dug out by Wukas. Set from already. Attack shot Nelson. Set by Rodriguez. Set by Poole. Attack shot Kara. Dug out by Nelson. Set from already. Attack shot from Huppy. Right on that right line. She gets the kill, makes them back the lead. Gives them back the lead, 13 to 12. Ashley Nelson goes back to serve. Nelson serve. Set. Right back to the ground by Zamore. Gives everybody held a point, 14 to 12. Nelson serve. Dug out high in the air. Now dug out again from Rodriguez. Free baller from Zamore. Dug out by Wuka. Set by Allred. Attack shot, Huppy. Right into the back part of the court. She'll get the kill there, 15 to 12. Liberty Hill leading over the uh, passes, Lady Badgers. Nelson retains the serve. Nelson serve. He duck set back by corners. Now the attack shot from Carr goes out. Points Liberty Hill, 16 to 12. Liberty Hill starting to get on a run here. Ten. And passes realize that they'll take a timeout. We'll take it with him. You're listening to Liberty Hill, Lady Panther volleyball here on the KMAC Sports Vipe Media Network. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. At KMAX Sports, we work hard to provide quality professional broadcasts to make it easier for the booster clubs with whom we work to find sponsorships. We ask that you please patronize these advertisers and thank them for supporting your team's broadcasts. You can help your booster club fund the broadcast by simply clicking on the donate button on KMAXSports.com. And if you're a fan of the other school, you can show your appreciation for tonight's broadcast by making a donation as well. Thank you in advance for your support. And now, let's take you back out to the game. Quickly back here. As Nelson retains the serve for Liberty Hill off the land pass this time out. Nelson serve. Off the tape. She'll get the ace. Dive by Carr. Wasn't able to save it. Gets it to 17 to 12 here at Liberty Hill leading. And set number two. Nelson serve. Right into the left corner. She's got a perfect serve there in the ace. 18 to 12. Somebody else starting to put it on him now. Six points in a row. Nelson serve. Set off the hands of Zamora. She'll get the kill on the ace. 19 to 12. Here's the Hill. Seven points in a row. Nelson will retain the serve. Off of two aces. Nelson serve. Dug out this time. 
Back to the other side, dug out by Huppy. Tip shot, it's almost saved by Kubis, but not able to. Gives the point back to Lamb Passes there. 19 to 13 as they get their first point. And a little bit right after that. Rodriguez will go back for the serve. Priscilla Rodriguez, that is, for the Badgers. Her serve is going to be dug out on the dive from Lucas. Set from Aura. Attack shot. Kubis right into the left hand corner for the kill. Gets Liberty Hill into the 20s. 20 to 13. She just got a perfect shot there, right into that left corner. Escamilla comes in and Parsons will come in for Allred and Kubish. So they've subbed that about three times now. Kind of mixing in a couple flows there. Parsons serve. Dug out by Cornish. That one's dug out by Poole. The attack shot from Bobo goes out. Point to Liberty Hill, 21-13. Liberty Hill looking to go for their seventh in a row district win to stay undefeated. Looking to do that in straight sets as well as they've done the past six. Parsons retains the serve for the Bay Hill. Parsons serve. Dug out by Rodriguez in the back row. Not able to save it though is on Cornish as she kind of nudged that with one hand then again it back in time. 22 to 13 Liberty Hill. Emma Parsons. Serve. Dug out by Rodriguez off to the left side or off the, off the right hand side out of play. Gives the point to Liberty Hill, 23 to 13, as Liberty Hill takes a double digit lead now. Emma Parsons goes back to serve. Parsons serve. He dug out by Zamore. Set from Poole. Tax shot from Bobo. Off the blocked hands of Dubs and Escamillo will land on the Liberty Hill side. 23 to 14. They give the Lady Badgers the point. Zamora go back to the serve. She'll knock it off the tape. Dug out by Huppy. Now the attack shot on the tip from Nelson. Dug out high in the air by Poole. Dug out by Rodriguez. Attack shot from Cara. Set by Parsons. Set from Nelson. Tip shot over from Escamilla. Is set by Poole. Dug out by Rodriguez. Attack shot Cara. She'll get double hit on that one. Point to Liberty Hill 24 to 14. Ashley Dubs goes back for the serve for Liberty Hill. Dubs serve. We dug out backside by Moore. That gets dug out of play. That gives Liberty Hill the set. Right, leading now two sets to nothing over Lee Lamb passes Lady Badgers. They'll switch sides and we'll take a break. You're listening to Liberty Hill Lady Panther Volleyball here on the KMAC Sports Vipe Media Network. At Austin Pets Alive, the mission is to promote and provide. The one that was a donation, or roll up your sleeves and volunteer. If you have love, time, or money to spare, and we all have at least one of those, you're needed. Visit AustinPetsAlive.com to get started. Austin Pets Alive, helping people help pets. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. And while all of us at the KMAC Sports Network are huge football fans, we broadcast more than just football, you know. In fact, KMAC Sports proudly broadcasts volleyball, girls and boys basketball, softball, baseball, soccer, lacrosse, and more. For more information on how you can help KMAC Sports broadcast any of those sports, just reach out to chuck at kmacsports.com or merle at kmacsports.com or contact that sports booster club directly. KMAC Sports will gladly work with you and the booster clubs to get that team's broadcasts on the air. And if you're a fan of the other team, well, we can broadcast your team's games too. We realize that, yes, even in Texas, there's more to life than just football. KMAC Sports, bringing your teams to you for 14 years. Hey, have you liked us on Facebook yet? Whoa, 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 stop right there. Well, why not? Search KMACSports.com and like us now. Sound off. Tell us what you think right here on Twitter at KMAX Sports. This is the KMAX Sports Network. We're back here at the Panther Den. We're going to go Panthers winning two sets to nothing over the 
Lamb passes Badgers. Two nothing with the six. 25-16, 25-14. Liberty Hill leading, two sets. Coach Peterson kind of getting her final calls in here with her team. And passes back already on the court. They'll switch sides. Starting six for Liberty Hill. Ellie Wilkins, Kenzie Escamilla. Emily Huppy, Emma Parsons, Kenzie Wukash, and Ashley Nelson. Back to serve will be Zamore. Her serve will be dug out by Huppy, set by Parsons. Attack shot from Kubish off the right hand side. Point will go to Lampasas. Dug out by Wukesh on the serve, set by Parsons. Attack shot, hard kill shot from Escamilla, one to one. Huppy, back to serve. Huppy serve. Dug out. Now the attack shot from Cornish. Blocked by Escamilla. Point to Liberty Hill. Two to one Liberty Hill here in set number three. Set number three can kind of be a little bit of two ways here. Liberty Hill can kind of put it on him or it could be a back and forth set. We'll see how it goes. That's going to be dug out off a of Huppy serve. Now the attack shot goes out of play. Point to Liberty Hill, three to one. Puppy goes back to serve. It's gonna be dug out. Right into the net though, point to Liberty Hill, four to one. Huppy's serve. Dug out by Carr. Now the attack shot from Cornish. She had it out of bounds though. Gets the kill. Liberty Hill will have the point though. Five to one. Huppy's serve. Goes out. Service error. Five to two. Carr goes back to serve. For the Badgers. Her serve dug out by Flores, barely saved. Wilkins on the attack shot, dug out. Set from Cara, attack shot, dug out by Nelson. Set from Parsons, attack shot from Escamilla off the hands. Dug out by Bender. Round to the floor, point to Liberty Hill, six to two. Kubish will come in and so will Workman for Eskia and Parsons. Workman will go back to serve. 6-2 to two here in set number 3. Liberty Hill leading 2 sets to nothing. Her serve. Dug out though. Double hit. Point Liberty Hill on the ace. 7-2. to two. Workman shot, dug out, set now, attack shot from Cornish and she'll get the kill, 7-3. 7-3 here, set number three. Megan Bobo goes back to serve. Bobo serve, goes out, point to Liberty Hill on the service area, 
eight to three. Lily Wilkins, serve. Dug out back row by Riga, set by Cara, attack shot from Cornish. Off the tape and onto the floor for the point. Eight to four. Cornish, serve off into the net, point Liberty Hill. Nine to four. Nelson, back to serve for Liberty Hill. Nelson serve, dug out back row, set by Kara. She'll get the double hit though, point to Liberty Hill, ten to four. Nelson goes back to serve now for Liberty Hill. Nelson serve. Dug out right on the net by corners. Point to Liberty Hill, 11 to 4. Liberty Hill leading through two sets to nothing. Trying to get their seventh district win here in straight sets. Nelson serve. Dug out. Now the attack shot from Huppy on the other side. Dug out by corners. Set by Kara. Attack shot from Zarma. Dug out by Workman. Set by Nelson. Attack shot by Kubish. Gets the kill. 12 to 4. Nelson serve. Dug out. Dug out again by Carr. Attack shot from Zamora. Right on the floor. Point Liberty Hill. 13 to 4. Liberty Hill kind of taking over in this third set. They're going to take a timeout. Somebody Hill's trying to put them on them here, and that's sometimes what can happen in the third set. Kind of a fluctuates of back and forth all the way to the end. That was the second set. So this time they're trying to just close it out, get their seventh victory in straight sets in district, and stay undefeated in district. So we get set here to replay, remain action. Nelson will change the serve. It seems like every time she's back there, they got a couple points in a row, and they've done it right now. It's a set from Kara, attack front from Vara, dug out by Wukesh, set by Workman, dug out by Huppy off the other side, set by Kara, dug out. Now attack shot goes out of play for point to Liberty Hill off the Bender's attack shot going out of play on the right side, 14 to 4. Set, now attack shot, off the hands of Workman, goes out of play. Makes it 14 to 5. Mia Hernandez will come in here for Ashley Nelson. 14 to 5 the score. Skyler Poole will go back to serve for Leland Passes Badgers. Dug out by Wukesh. Attack shot now from Wukesh. Dug out by Poole. Attack shot from Poole. So it's dug out by Rodriguez. Attack shot now from Huppy off the hands into the stands. Liberty Hill gets the point and the rhyme. 15 to 5. Escamilla comes in and Parsons will come in for Kubish and Workman. Parsons goes back to serve. Parsons serve. Dug out by Poole. Dug out by other. Now it's on the other side. Dug out by Wukash. Set by Parsons. Attack shot from Escamilla. Gets the kill. 16 to 5. Emma Parsons goes back to serve, or she'll retain the serve, I should say. Her serve, right to the net, service error, 16 to 6.
we set up, but not able to save by Lucas off the serve from Rodriguez, point to Lampasas. Attack shot, or serve from Rodriguez, dug out by Lucas, set by Parsons, attack shot, Escamilla, dug out back row by Cornish. Not able to save it though, as two lady batters looked at each other, another one got it, 17-7. Van Clavering off the serve, I should have just came in. He dug out, and the attack shot from Bobo goes out of play, point to Liberty Hill, makes it an 18 to seven lead. Liberty Hill looking very strong here in this final third set, hopefully. Serve from Van Clavering, dug out. It's gonna be the attack shot over from Bobo, dug out by Hernandez, set by Parsons, attack shot tipped from Wilkins, and still got the kill, 19 to seven. Dug out by some more off the surf from Van Claver. Now it's back on the other side. Tip shot from Hernandez. Set by Rodriguez. Tack shot and some more. Dug out by Parsons on the back side. Hernandez with the set attack shot off the hands. Kill for Escamilla. 20 to 7. Van Claver and serve goes out. Service ace 20 to 8 now. Liberty Hill leading. Set from Parsons now. It's dug out. Out of set other side. She'll get the double hit off land passes. 21 to 8. Liberty Hill. Four points away from having a straight sets victory for the seventh district victory. Go seven and zero in district play. Morgan Flores goes back to serve. Flores serve. Set by Cornish. And a double hit on there. Point to Liberty Hill. Didn't matter. Escamilla had it. Launched it straight down, but won't get the kill. Get a double hit. 22 to 8. Morgan Flores goes back to serve. Flores serve. Dug out back row by Cornish. Now the tip shot from Bobo, dug out on the dive from Parsons. Now the tip shot attack from Dubs. It's dug out, set by Cara. Attack shot, Cornish blocked. Dug out now again but for more. This one's back dug by Wilkins, set from Parsons. Attack shot, Dubs. Dug on the dive from Riga, set by Cara. Tip shot from Bobo. Not able to save it. 22-9. Attack shot, serve, dug out, not able to get it up though. Point goes to land passes on the ace, 29, 22 to 10. Dug out by Escamilla, set by Parsons, attack shot, Wilkins, dug out, out of play. 23 to 10. Workman serve, dug out, set by Kara, tip shot over, set by Workman, tack shot from Wukash, set by Rodriguez, dug out. On the other side, dug out by Flores, set from Workman, attack shot, Kubish gets the kill, one point away from a match victory, 24 to 10.
Workman. Dug out on the dive by Moore. Now it's a set over. Set from Workman. Attack shot. Huppy off the hands. Trying to save it. Flores gets the ball back. Set from Cara. Attack shot. From Cornish gets the kill off the hands of a couple Lady Panthers. 24 to 11. Back to serve will be Megan Bobo. Oh, serve. Dug out by Flores. Tip shot over. Blocked on back to the other side. Gets the point to land passes. 24 to 12. So they're trying to stay alive here. Megan Bobo will have the serve. Retaining it. Her serve is going to be dug out by Wukash. Set by Workman. Not able to beat up there. Hurts Kubish. He went up there and didn't get the height for it. 24, 14, 13. Megan Bobo. Her service dug out by Flores. Set by Workman. Attack shot from Kubish. Gets the kill and gets the match victory. Liberty Hill Panthers will win this match. 25 to 13. Straight sets. 25, 16, 25, 14, and 25, 13. We're going to take a quick break. You'll be listening to Liberty Hill Lady Panther Volleyball here on the KMAX Sports Vibe Media Network. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. And while all of us at the KMAX Sports Network are huge football fans, we broadcast more than just football, you know. In fact, KMAX Sports proudly broadcasts volleyball, girls and boys basketball, softball, baseball, soccer, lacrosse, and more. For more information on how you can help KMAX Sports broadcast any of those sports, just reach out to Chuck at KMAXSports.com or Merle at KMAXSports.com or contact that Sports Booster Club directly. KMAX Sports will gladly work with you and the Booster Clubs to get that team's broadcasts on the air. And if you're a fan of the other team, well, we can broadcast your team's games too. We realize that, yes, even in Texas, there's more to life than just football. KMAX Sports, bringing your teams to you for 14 years. This is the KMAX Sports Network. And this is what we do. Looking left, goes into the end. That's so up again. He hits the turf. And oh, Devon yeah. scoops it up. Cameron Wilkins hits it. It's a 10, 5, touchdown. We are the largest. We are the best. Bringing your teams to you. We've been doing it for 15 years. Inside, he's got blockers in front of him. Touchdown. Touchdown. 5, touchdown. touchdown. It's what we do. And nobody does it better. We are KMAX Sports. At Austin Pets Alive, the mission is to promote and provide the resources, education, and programs needed to eliminate the killing of companion animals. That means more happy pets joining more happy families every single day. In fact, Austin Pets Alive has saved more than 25,000 dogs and cats since 2008. And you can help adopt a new family member, help out with a donation, or roll up your sleeves and volunteer. If you have love, time, or money to spare, and we all have at least one of those, you're needed. Visit AustinPetsAlive.com to get started. Austin Pets Alive. Helping people help pets. Socialize with us. Yeah, man, I'll tell you what, that dang old internet, man, you just throw it on there and point and click, 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 it's real easy, man. On Twitter, at KMAX Sports, or catch us on Facebook, search KMAX Sports. Just another way, KMAX Sports is bringing your teams to you. This is the KMAX Sports Welcome back here to the Panther Den where your Panthers have a straight sets victory over the Lampasas Lady Badgers. 25-16, 25-14, 25-13 the set scores. I'd like to give one more shout out to our sponsor. Liberty Hill Civil Construction is a leading construction company specialized in single family infrastructure. We are locally owned and service the greater Austin area. They're proud supporters of Liberty Hill Volleyball. Go Lady Panthers. And as they did the night, 7-0 in district. All straight sets victories. And they'll continue it hopefully this coming week. It's Tuesday you'll have another game. And then Friday I'll have the call for you up in East Side Memorial, Austin ISD. Where hopefully can be another win. And they can hopefully go 10-0. Or that'll be 8-0 in district at that time. 25. Again, the final set score, 25-16, 25-14, 25-13. Had a great presence from a couple girls. 
it seemed to me as whenever it was Nelson was a serve, it always seemed like they had a couple points to run and run into each other, and they kept kind of going together. And after a while, kind of saw that had her serve a little bit, and I believe she had a couple times where she got about five points in a row, and one really big one was like into nine points in a row. So just kind of a couple things you kind of look out for. You'll see a little times, but Panthers keep rolling and. Sure enough, they're looking for that undefeated district, and right now it's looking so they've played every single team in the district. So they've got a couple more games to go, but hopefully can win it and keep going rolling and rolling for the state run again as they did last year. Hopefully they can keep it going, but just have to wait and see. But for tonight, I'm Jay Andrews. I'd like to go shout out again to Mark Kiewe and back in the studio. Mitchell Padgett made the broadcast tonight sound crisp and clear for y'all. Again, final sco score, somebody who wins it in straight sets, 25-16, 25-14, 25-13. Have a great night, everybody, and we'll see you on next Tuesday. I'm Jay Sanders for my QA, Mitchell Padgett. Peace out. This is the KMAC Sports Network. This is the KMAC Sports Network.